Located on a limestone formation and towering over the Turkey River town of Fort Atkinson in Winnesheet County, a 4.7 acre state preserve holds natural and historic treasures. Come along with Notes on Iowa as we explore Fort Atkinson State Preserve. As alluded to by the name, the American military founded Fort Atkinson as a frontier defense during the early settlement of Iowa. Following the multinational treaties of Prairie du Chien in 1825 and 1830, as well as pressures created by the Indian Removal Act of 1830, the American government sought to project power throughout the upper Mississippi River area. During a dispossessive series of treaties over the course of the early 1800s, the tribe commonly known as the Winnebago, but known as the Ho-Chunk today, received orders to relocate into the newly developing Iowa Territory. Slid into a neutral ground between the Dakota Sauk and Meskwaki, the Ho-Chunk quickly found themselves in a dangerous situation. Hoping to cow the indigenous peoples of the area, Brigadier General Henry Atkinson ordered soldiers to construct a fort on the Turkey River in May of 1840. Selecting a bluff with a dominating view of the Turkey River, the garrison worked to erect the fort over the course of two years. In 1842, the men named the fort to honor General Atkinson. With a 12-foot-tall stockade and many buildings constructed of Makokata Formation or period limestone, Garrison continued to add buildings to the fort through 1845 at a total cost of $38,000. Featuring two stone barracks and two wood barracks, the facilities boasted living quarters, a hospital, a chapel, as well as a school. Two stone cannon houses on the northeast and southeast corners of the fort housed two cannons apiece. As America went to war with Mexico, the location served as the home of the Iowa 1st Volunteer Infantry during the late 1840s. When the government again uprooted the Ho-Chunk in 1848, the fort's days of military installation started to come to an end. After abandonment in 1849, individual local citizens purchased the property in 1855 and the town of Fort Atkinson grew around the site. Starting in 1921, locals started working to raise $3,600 in funds in the hopes of purchasing the roughly five-acre site from two different local men and turning it over to the Iowa Conservation Board for the creation of a state park. After the successful efforts of local townspeople to raise the initial money, the state allotted $25,000 for restoration improvement work starting in 1929, and the location started to come back to life. Naming the location Fort Atkinson State Park, extensive archaeological and restorative work during the late 1930s and early 1940s helped to revitalize the still-standing cannon houses, a portion of the North Stone Barracks, the Blockhouse, and the Powder Magazine. Additional work uncovered the locations and foundations of other buildings, and the state also designated the site a wild game refuge in 1942. Their extensive reconstruction during the 1950s helped to further reconstruct and preserve the fort, including a 1958 project to rebuild the nearly 12-foot-tall stockade. $48,000 investment by the state in improvements transitioned the property from the status as a historical, archaeological, and geological park to preserve and officially opened Fort Atkinson State Preserve on May 20, 1962. Today, Fort Atkinson State Preserve offers visitors an opportunity to step into the past to explore life on the Iowa frontier. With well-constructed self-interpretation panels throughout the site, aspiring historians and military enthusiasts find a wealth of wonders. Every September since 1977, the Fort Atkinson Rendezvous has brought together military reenactors, buckskinners, Iowa's indigenous peoples, and a variety of other interested individuals at the site to celebrate its past. Next time you find yourself looking to get out and enjoy Iowa's public lands, consider a stop at Fort Atkinson State Preserve. A truly stunning representation of Iowa's natural beauty and a testament to the necessity of maintaining opportunities to get outdoors for all Iowans, Fort Atkinson State Preserve shines a must-visit for all people hoping to see Iowa slowly. Thanks for coming along with Notes on Iowa to explore Fort Atkinson State Preserve. Make sure to subscribe to the Notes on Iowa website, subscribe on YouTube, follow on social media, and tune in each Sunday to explore the history of Iowa State parks, preserves, and other public lands. I hope I'll see you out there. There's a lot of good history in Iowa. Uh,